So guys, is this a joke or what? So Sihle who's been making his way into the industry posted the alleged tracklist of Reese's album on Twitter. I don't know where he got that from but it's not giving a Reese. He even asked, is this the tracklist for P2? So the posted tracklist consists of 17 tracks with 7 features from artists like Koz, J Jody, Joey Fats, Cadence and surprisingly Raquel who's his girlfriend. If this is really legit then the boy was not fronting when he came out a couple of months ago to say, you cockroaches need to stop talking crazy about my GF, it's disgusting, leave my girl alone, keep talking like that and I'ma teach her how to rap. Not gonna lie but the last thing I wanna hear is Raquel on the mic. Red flag number one, there's no Ving Rhames on the album. And again, the titles of the tracks are not giving Aries. But hey man, last time with Deadlines we had said, the title of the Deadlines album was not giving Aries but it came out to be true, so with this one, we'll just see how it goes. But we didn't wait for Paradise 2 for close to 4 years just to come in here recall rapping. Like come on bro. Platoon hasn't confirmed anything as of yet, but I just hope this tracklist is not legit. But anyways, how would you guys feel about this album if you find that this tracklist is legit? How would you feel to find out that Rikel is actually a rapper now in his own Reese's album? Comment your thoughts down below. And moving on, I know most of you guys have been waiting for me to give out a review of Flame's latest EP, Note to Solve. My apologies for the delay but the project is just so good, I couldn't stop listening to it. So I think now is the right time for me to just give out a review on it. So Not to Self is such a great body of work and it seamlessly blends catchy, melodic pop elements with the rhythmic and lyrical complexes of hip hop. Flame's flow really complements the beats. I just love the fact that he's back to rapping. He just effortlessly rides the beats with rhythm and groove, delivering his lyrics with precision and syncopation. This synergy between his delivery and the beat creates a dynamic and an engaging listening experience that keeps the audience tapped in from start to finish. Well that's how I believe I was able to be so in tune with the project from start to finish. This is pure art. Over the course of his career, Flame has undeniably experienced significant growth both musically and lyrically. You can't tell me this line here is not a bar. I've been fired since I started, why you think my name is Flame? But despite all that, since the days of TWC, his early work showcased raw talent and potential. But as time passed by, he matured into a seasoned musician. He has made sure to expand his horizons, effortlessly weaving together various genres, namely hip-hop, pop and R&B, demonstrating a remarkable level of versatility. Lyrically, his songs have evolved from simple narratives to thought-provoking compositions that resonate on a deeper emotional level. And I guess no one can beg to differ that this transformation is evident in his latest project, not neglecting the project he has released in the past, where he simply blends complex melodies with profound introspective lyrics, leaving a lasting impact on listeners and solidifying his status as an artist who continues to evolve and improve. In the realm of hood rap, one feature that Flame executed exceptionally well is 25k with an unwavering commitment to representing the raw and unfiltered realities of street life. 25k never ceases to showcase his unmatched ability to convey the struggles and harsh truths of the hood through his lyrics. His storytelling is vivid and unapologetic, creating an immersive experience for the listener even though they are not even there in the flesh when that whole thing is happening. He takes you to the hood figuratively. He also mentioned the guy that was killed because of snitching. He really brings the streets to life with a distinct cadence and a lyrical skill that's both captivating and revealing. This unique skill not only sets him apart but also cements his position as a storyteller who brilliantly captures the essence of the hood in a way that resonates with his audience. Not forgetting the Madlera Doughboy feature. Madlera Doughboy consistently shines especially when featured on tracks by delivering exceptional verses. His lyrical expertise and flow are unmatched, elevating any song he contributes to. With an innate ability to craft captivating narratives, he effortlessly steals the spotlight, making every feature an unforgettable moment in the track. His consistency in delivering dope verses on features solidifies him as a go-to artist for elevating the quality of any collaboration, which I believe is exactly what contributes to my idea that he's the hottest MC of 2023. Overall, I'd give this EP a solid 9 out of 10 and I think it's the best EP by far this year. Anyways, how do you guys feel about Flame's latest offering? Comment your thoughts down below. And lastly, Pretty Ugly has released the visuals for his latest single, Njaka with Madlera Doughboy featuring Mesh Beats. Let's go run it up. 
Touchline has also released a new single, Tell a Friend, with Ginger Trail from his upcoming album, Boys in the Hood. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Peace out. Perfect, perfect, perfect.